Mike McCool here in the Royal Examiner studio and with me today is all these community <laughs> organizers and leaders and we have got a whole long list. Show them the list, Michelle. <laughs> yep. This is She's just got, my list. <laughs> right. So there's so much activity going on starting this weekend and coming up over the summer that we want to do some highlights and and talk about that. So, uh, Robert, let's do your list first because yours is shorter. It's pretty short. Okay. Yeah. All right. So next week, everyone knows he's been plugging the benefit for Mason. Uh, we're trying to help him out. They they did get approved for the liver transplant, so he is on the list now. So that's super great news. For sure, him. sure. Um, so that's going to be next Saturday at Hazard Mill Farms. <clears throat> uh, reach out to Pam Coyle or go to their links that they've shared or our Facebook page as well. And uh, buy a food ticket, come out and eat. It's going to be music. They got tons of great baskets. They're doing like a silent auction with the basket items. I think they got like 20 or 30 baskets they're doing. Right, so, right. Cool stuff in them. Um, other than yep. that, and then we have a fishing tournament that I'm raising money for the thermal shelter on July 2nd. And, yes, uh, very It's $25 to enter. Uh, we got a trophy, 150 bucks first place. 100 bucks for second and 50 bucks for third. So, biggest you don't mess fish around, do you? No, no, mm -hmm. we're trying to get people out. So, so now Mason's is not the 12th, it's the 18th. 16th. The 16th. Okay. Yeah, so it's next Saturday. All right. All right. So, it's okay. Or wait, is it? No. 16th this week? You better check Isn't your calendar because this Saturday is Saturday? the 12th. So, it has to be the 18th. 18th. You you double check your calendar. See, this is why we Whoa, have it all wrote right. down. <laughs> got a big planner, and I didn't know, didn't come prepared. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Don't I think it's the nineteenth. It's the nineteenth. Yeah. It, it all right, so nineteenth. So Not check. Friday. Yeah, ignore what he just told you. It's the nineteenth. Yeah. It's it, so if everybody shows up at your place on the sixteenth. You better have some food. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have food regardless. But uh, and then uh, that, that's pretty much it for for me. I mean. Uh, we had a, a great uh, rough, tough, and scruffy event for the Humane Society. Yeah, how'd that go over? I think it went well. Uh, yeah, I think we had about 250 people come, and we raised $8,500 for a first-time event. Yeah. Wow. I, hear, I heard good feedback. Yeah. I personally had a lot of fun, except the canoe race was really tiring. But it was great. It was really fun. Well, if he would give you some oars, though, uh, row with it. <laughs> I was going to give her an electric motor and stick it under the boat for him. But, uh, yeah, the oar wasn't the problem. It's my arm strength. <laughs> There's so much activity going on in our community and, and good stuff that raises funds for the Humane Society. It helps the thermal shelter. It's helping Mason with his liver transplant. I mean, yeah. they're just people come together when there's a need. And I think that's that's what's yeah. great about our community. We, we a lot of love here. Yeah, so, sorry. Michelle, uh, let's start with your list. Then we'll get Megan's list. Then we'll go back to Robert's oh, list. OK. So. <laughs> well, um, as as most of you know, we have um, uh, Hope the Hope Arising Festival this weekend on Saturday and Sunday at the where the Fireman's Carnival is across from Bing Crosby Stadium. So that's at 11 to 5. DSS is going to have a table there and what we, we'll have crafts for the kids to do, but we're also going to have a lot of information on how to be a foster parent. We are really uh, in need of foster parents in Warren County. And uh, so we'd, we would love for people to come out and talk to us if you're interested in learning anything about being a foster parent. This would be a good, a good thing to come to and get some more information. It's surprising how great that need is. Yeah, we have a huge need here. I mean, there's a need everywhere, but we have a huge need sure, in Warren sure. County. We're also, uh, Social Services is starting a one-stop uh, resource center at 15th Street. Um, it's in the old cafeteria, if you're familiar with that. And uh, we're going to have a lot of uh, area agencies and nonprofits to give out information on what they do. So it's a, it's a place where people can come every Wednesday afternoon from 1 to 4 and learn about what's in our community uh, as far as resources go. So that starts tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so come out and spread the word on that. Also, social services, their cooling program starts on June 15th. That's when the applications can start coming in. And um, that ends August 15th. And what is that? So that is where you can apply for help with your electric bill. For oh, that's, that's why it's called that's cooling. In, that's income-based. That's income-based, yes. And uh, you can also get an uh, air conditioning window unit if you don't already have one, or you can get like fans if you don't if you don't have those. So um, there's a, more things than just the uh, help with the utility bill. Okay. Um, 
We at Social Services also are accepting donations of gently used adult and children's books. We're going to start uh, on July 1st having uh, bookshelves in the lobby where people can just come in and um, just take a book. You, you don't have to check it out or anything. You just take take books. Take it and keep it. So, yes, take it and keep it. And so we're accepting donations of books. And also we're accepting donations of nightlights. So there have been um, studies that show that children feel safer at night with a nightlight on. They sleep better, and so therefore they do better in school. So we are going to start a nightlight program. And you can just come in. Parents can come in and just... Pick up a nightlight. <laughs> hey, I, I'm, so. we got a house full of them somewhere. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. The kids come and go, and then somehow they end up in a drawer. You know, just check that drawer in your kitchen, right? Right. That's where they I are. mean, they're, yeah, a lot, usually they're. Kitchen drawer, that's where they're They're at. great, yeah. So yeah, if you'd like to donate nightlights, just drop them off at social services. So. And that's all I have. I had just social services stuff that's today. That's plenty. <laughs> that's for today. Today, Mich yes. Michelle has got her <laughs> big toe stuck in everything. Well, that's your job. Yeah. You're the community liaison goody <laughs> person. I don't know what you do. But so I try to I try to know what's going on. In you the do. Community. You do a great job, so. Michelle. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. She does a lot for you, too, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I, well, I don't. Well, they, we do we, family shelter a little yes. bit together, but they do the hard work. We just bring stuff. Yeah. <laughs> We're able to take pets because of the Humane Society, and they give yeah. us crates and food and bowls and leashes and nice. whatever we need for a pet. So we had two dogs um, for months at, at the last our last um, season. So yeah. And they're great. And the pets are, the dogs are great with everybody there. You know, they're a source of comfort for a lot of yeah. our people that yeah. stay there. That's so, so exciting that we were able to get that working yes. together. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's move on to Megan's list and see what she has to uh, tell us about. Well, that's a hard act to follow. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to come and talk about some of our events that we've got mm -hmm. going on. Um, we've got two big ones coming up. And, you know, we're fundraising all year because we're in the midst of kitten season. We're doing surgeries all the time for kittens that come in in bad shape or things that have been hit by a car or things that have been neglected for a long time or just that the people didn't have the money available to do their re regular maintenance on their pets and things like that. So our fundraising never ends. Um, and that's why we do these big events so often. It's not just because we like to party, but we do like to party, but <laughs> we also have a big need in our community. So, you know, we just did a thousand dollar surgery last week for a cat that had no owner, um, nobody to pay that bill. So we pay the bill and that's a thousand dollar cat that got hit by a car and still needs to be spayed and it, it'll live a, it'll be fine it's lost an arm but it's going to be fine but um, doing things like that and saying yes to everything that walks in the door um, is not easy and it takes a huge amount of money so that's why we do these big events um, at the end of this month we have our barks and bags we do this one every year. It's our 10th one. Right. Um, and it's typically a ladies' luncheon and handbag auction, designer handbags. We've got a bag worth over $700 this year. It's very nice stuff. <laughs> um, and and uh, because of COVID, we're continuing to do the private party. So groups of 30 are coming in to view the bags, have lunch, drink wine, have a great time, and then hit Main Street afterwards. Um, and so I've got tickets for sale for that right now. These ladies, I tell you. <laughs> It's even more fun when it's the big group all together sure. because they're bidding over each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we know what goes on. They've there. got their great hats. It's really fun. Um, you, and you put a fascinator. You know, I've yes. learned about the fascinator, yes. right? <laughs> big hats and wine. Oh, this, and it, the event is so much fun though, and yeah. it's it's a really great time. We've got all of our usual people who come every year and win stuff, or if they sure, don't, they just sure. donate. It's really fun. Well, I know that uh, Jean Plogger and oh, yeah. uh, Ellen Aders. Uh, uh, really help organize that for you and help sponsor some Yeah, things. All right. we also have Blake and Company Spa is sponsoring and Element Risk Financial is sponsoring as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the, those are the four who are always here and it's always fun and they know how to have a good time. Well, and National <laughs> Media Services help sponsor. Oh, yes, That's of course. Right. Don't forget them. <laughs> yes, <yeah>. of course. <laughs> yes, of course. They printed yes, the tickets for you. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Oh, 
I shouldn't have said that. I was going to say, every, I think I can need to talk to you that. later. Yeah. <laughs> He's your guy. <laughs> but, you know, we all want to help out our community. Course, yeah. and this is a great thing. So that's just the first one. Now, what's the next one? Yeah, then we have August, which is right around the corner. And we've got Wagon for Dragons. And, you know, we try to do this one every year, but we hit snags from time to time. So sure. we're back. We're back this year. Um, and I'm really excited because we're partnered with the United Way and with the Chamber of Commerce. So one team is supporting three nonprofits to help us all do the businesses, the animals, and the people of our community. So it's going to be a great event, and I'm really looking forward to it. And we're signing teams up right now. That's right. And that's that's a great event. I know last year we didn't really do it. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's teams of twenty, and it's a tiny boat, and so it's even hard to just fit two people in this in the seat, let alone when you're dealing that with six foot out. distancing. I, I, I got third place the last time we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We took up the whole seat. What are you talking about? Yeah. I but, was the whole boat motor in that thing. <laughs> but you know, it's a lot of fun, yeah. and it's a good team building experience. It's kind of like tailgate atmosphere yep. down by the water. We've got fish. We've got all kinds of things going on. We've got the sheriff's you department did. versus the police department this year. It's going oh, to be epic. That'll be great. Yeah. Yes. And the Party town of Front Royal is going to be at it. So yes, town of Front Royal. County, yeah. County, well, they, they, got some, yeah. they got some sleepers in there. They'll get those big old guys that, <laughs> you know, that work on the <laughs> trucks and the things that have got the arms like, yeah. you know, gorillas. Well, yeah. Rugged Terrain CrossFit, yeah, I think, is going to be Oh, they'll be hard. Uh, going to be <laughs> tough. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It takes, a, you think your arms were sore <laughs> yeah. pulling that uh, a canoe, that you're going to, you're going to do it. So what else we got planned? That's only two. Well, we've got Tails and Nails in November, oh, see, but I, I didn't want to. had another. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to overdo it in one shot. Yeah, Tails and Nails is going to be back to the Moose Lodge, big group, just there like we go. always do. It's going to be so much fun. Well, we're going to have to do another one. We have plenty of videos to do here coming up in, <laughs> yeah. in the future. That's yeah. great. So also there's something you're working on, the yeah. uh, showers for the uh, thermal shelter. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I bought the shower trailer to give to Michelle and them. Um, so I just bought the base of the, the trailer itself. And I got some of the material and we hit a little snag, but now it's back at the farm. And we'll start construction on that within probably, I've got a couple more projects to finish up in about two weeks. So... We'll have plenty of time for next good, season. Good. Everything will yes. be done for her. <laughs> and, uh, you know, those, those gentlemen and women at the shelter can actually get that needed shower um, that yeah, everyone deserves really after. Nice. Yeah, 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 those showers are just... You've just got a great place. facility out there, but yeah. you really don't have any yeah. showers. No showers, yeah. No showers, so, so, yeah, that's, I mean, the, really the only thing that we need out there. Um, so we, we're really looking yeah. forward to that. It's going to be three a three bay shower. I already got the door, so it'll be separate units each door. So they you know you'll have their own private room. They'll go in and be able to take a shower and uh, hang their clothes up. Right. So it'll be it's going to be a bigger a bigger space. They're about to... about five by eight. Yeah. Each each that's stall. A, that's a normal size bathroom. Five yeah. by eight. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no yeah. toilet or nothing else in it. So you have all that extra room. For, sure. Sure. Know, Thanks. Well, it's all We're the great things that, that we do in our community. I, we got the thermal shelter, but you know, winter will be here before you know yeah, it. it will. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll have some extra funds to extend it a little bit, like we do. And well, we have some fundraisers. A couple of well, we have the one that Robert just talked about, and then we have one coming up in July. It looks like I know it's pretty fast. Um, a, a chicken a barbecue, chicken yeah. dinner for the thermal shelter, also. So, well, just, just, like you say, just just keep. Just, uh, yeah. Keep your phone on the Royal Examiner, and yeah. you will find out all the great things that are going on in our community. As as usual, Robert has a lot of things going on, and Michelle, <laughs> you're here, and Megan, you have a lot, and we have a lot. So we, yeah. uh, I just it's just good. I was talking to uh, one of our councilmen today at the hospital. The new hospital ribbon cutting is oh, okay. uh, today, and so I had to leave there and come over here because you know this is important too. But uh, and that's the thing we were talking about is. All the good things, you know, we have, there's so much uh, negative things. Uh, we need to, have, you know, take so much more positive to yeah. stamp down some of the negative things that goes on <laughs> and, you know, keep dragging it up. You know, that was years ago. Let's worry about what we're doing we, we now just, and let's move forward. We're going to move forward and be bigger and better. That's yeah. right. I think this community we gotta, is super supportive. It is very it is supportive. Very we got a great community yeah. and uh, let's, yeah. let's make it even better. Yeah. Well, like the reaching out now, you know, I was able to help them right. out and we got that beef and then you were saying mm -hmm. the other day, Rick and the livestock we're, associations we're, we're are looking gonna, like we might get another, another they're, one. They're so potentially yeah. going to donate another steer for them. So. Right. Right. It's great. So I was talking to her the other day. I said, I haven't seen you for a couple weeks. I got more. I'm 
coming soon. <laughs> so I can uh, call you every week. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, we got we got plenty of video time, so here yeah. we go. Well, like I said, there's plenty of people here that they want to do good. Just mm -hmm. I think with what you're doing here, it gives them that direction. And you know, anybody has an event or a fundraiser event, is always welcome to reach out to me sure. at my my facility. Right. As well, yeah. So. I've, I've recommended some people to talk to you, see if it fits what they need. Yeah. It's hard to find a place to gather people, have right. a stage, and yeah. you know, have the facilities yeah. that you need to do. And it's a great, and it's a great location. Yeah. And we're working on. We're going to probably within the year build a, a nice. Uh, nice standalone stage down right. there. You know, cool. something I can still move. I got a equipment trailer we're going to convert, so you'll be able to move it in and out, and it'll be a nice like twenty by fifteen or so trailer. Yeah, well, that, that name Hazard don't you know? He's got hazards on his farm there. He might. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, most of your crop you keep caged up, so you know. yeah, yeah. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. No. <laughs> Robert's a big turkey farmer, so you know we don't stays in the barn. Stays in the barn. That's great. It's a, that's another thing we'll talk about here uh, as we get closer to our turkey season. Yeah, well, it's yeah. always turkey season. Oh, well, I know been. that's true. <laughs> they, they just he cranks them out. Yeah. Right. Well, it's just great talking to you all. I appreciate you coming in, sharing all this with our community, and uh, we'll get all the information. We'll put it at the bottom of the story, the links where you can go to the Facebook page and the website and find out more. Uh, I'm interested about your resource center. Maybe we'll show up over there tomorrow because that would be great. We yeah. need we need some people call. How do I? Th I see it all the time. Where who has this? Who has that? Right. And we just don't really have. Have, we got you know 400 Facebook pages and groups to go to, right. and we try to narrow things down. Yeah, and, well, we uh, put this together very quickly, so we're hoping to add more resources, go, more agencies sure. and stuff as as we go along. That'd be so, great. Yeah. All right, again, thanks, Megan. Thanks, yeah, yeah. Michelle. Thanks, Robert. Yeah, we thank appreciate you. it, and thanks again. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you.